Hello there everybody, 6 Cyrus here, welcoming you back to Galactic Civilizations 3. This is Season 2, Episode 1. Of course, like I said, I'm 6 Cyrus. if I didn't. Uh, so, it's been requested that we do play as the Altarian Resistance. So we're gonna do that. Um, there was only one problem I had with their race traits in this version of the game. And that is their hit points. They have that negative 30% there. Uh, everything else is pretty good. So I'm going to have to look out for that and all the things that I do. Um, that's not going to be a too big a deal. But I thought I would have fun with this. We're going to go with an excessive galaxy. Um, I've th this game is going to be fully custom. Just for fun. Now, Kitsune, I'm trying to put it in commands on the computer with the mouse and you're standing right on the mouse how am I supposed to do this buddy you tell me ah sorry <laughs> that's just my cat getting in the way uh, sometimes he talks sometimes he doesn't but yeah that's oh no not the sneeze ah all right so I wanted common stars but I wanted less common planets that was something I was thinking about earlier. Um, I'd also like the planets that are habitable to be unfrequent or uncommon. Uh, same with extreme planets. Uh, so you kind of have an even chance of getting each. Um, and I also wanted pirates rare. Um, well, I remember setting this to common. I, I went through all these settings before. Um, I think I liked black holes at random, or no, not random, common, no, uncommon, occasional, it's uncommon I wanted here, uh, but I wanted there to be abundant resources, I wanted them to be everywhere, um, I wanted these to be uncommon because they help win the game so much, same thing with the anomaly frequency, uh, I wanted to keep that low, so that's uh, the galaxy settings or the galaxy options. That's a lot of different stuff that I've done there. Um, let's just take these three off the table and see what happens. That's a lot of different ways. Uh, now, this was something I was wondering about as well. Is like, I think I want to go up to the next difficulty level, but at the same time, um, that's pretty crazy to be doing. And all of these, I'll just leave the way they were. And for this, I decided I wanted all but the most warlike uh, civilizations, empires, uh, species. <laughs> There's so many different ways, yeah, to say that. But. There we go, that's... There's one too many in here. It's the Thalon Contingency that I didn't want there. That looks... Pretty good. The Iridium Corporation, I need to try playing as them. Um, same with the Kryn Syndicate. Uh, those are two that I'm interested in in this particular iteration of the game. I guess we're just gonna get going here. So, woohoo, season two! I always get antsy waiting for the, the universe to generate. See, when I play like Civilization V and stuff, I'm waiting for one world to generate. And here, I'm waiting for a whole bunch of worlds to generate. And just, oh, it's so cool. I'm hyped up for it. We're deeply religious, the Altarians. I wonder what that's all about. Uh, I've had some things where religion has hurt me personally, so when I see deeply religious, I, I wonder about it. Not to say that religion can't be good for some people. Um, it certainly can. But I've just seen the worst side of it. <laughs> Generous to a fault. Hmm. Uh, yes, I've seen them deal self-righteously with me. Um, they say our people should be liberated. They've said that to me a few times. Um... 
She scares me when I see her on the Diplo screen, by the way, because um, you can see bones or different. I don't even remember now because it's been so long since I last played. But I do remember being terrified by her. Careful researchers. Generally content and influential with their neighbors. Yeah, fragile. See, that's what we were worried about before. Those are basically just reminders. Hmm. Wisp is a class 6. And over here we have this class 11. Well, this, uh, that's the survey ship. I need the light spreader. Um. Hmm. Let me get this guy going. Sorry, I got lost there for a second. The ship looks, yeah, it's got the colony things on it. Sometimes uh, when it's named something like Light Spreader, I don't immediately know that it's a colony ship. Um, yeah. Explore. survey. Alright. Now, um, I guess the next thing to do is worry about the planet. Really? Plus one food and hmm, two approval buildings here. We don't really have any approval buildings yet. And I always like to be careful with uh, the first planet or two and then I like to spam as you may have seen in the past um, some other kinds of wonderful things yeah I don't want to put anything on that tile right now I think we'll just leave this like this so we'll get a little more production we'll get a little more research uh, they really want me to put a factory there but I I'm just done um, yeah everything looks good here now, okay, good. It's still set to survey. I wanted to make sure uh, that that was the case. Now, see, I'm tempted to get planetary improvement to start, but I always like the improved manufacturing of Xeno industrialization. Don't get me wrong, though. There's a lot of things you could go for here. Ah, Xeno Commerce, you look so good. Maybe we'll get that next. Then we'll come back to planetary improvement for the third tech we research. Ooh, my favorite part. Uh, let's buy one of these. Uh, Deep Root is the constructor. So let's add one of those to the queue. And I guess we'll add another light spreader. That's not really necessary, though. Uh, I'm just preparing to colonize the next planet. Apparently those two ships decided to make a fleet. I'm kind of okay with that. On the other hand, I'm kind of not. Ah. Wisp. Yes. Finally, after their long journey, your colonists set foot on an alien world. Untold effort and struggle were required to get even this far. But it's only the beginning. The galaxy is filled with worlds for the taking. Yes, indeed it is. Hmm. I want an influence planet pretty early here. Yeah, I know that's probably the oddest thing to go for there, but um, we already have another good planet coming to us in Shock 2. So I just uh, want to make sure that I'm working on influence so I don't get out influence. Xeno industrialization is complete. Oh, I forgot, we gotta get the specialization. Decreased manufacturing costs means less production to do things. So that's pretty important to me. Alien cultural trash. This is our first colonizing event. Um, this planet was once the home of an alien civilization, which disappeared a thousand years earlier. Although none of their technology is new to you, many of their entertainment products remain intact and are of great interest to the colonists. Unfortunately, almost all of these shows and programs are incredibly childish and puerile, uh, featuring an 
unfortunate amount of jokes about orifices and the colony's workplaces are now filled with practical jokes jokes that sap productivity huh <laughs> um, increased economy for decreased manufacturing um, sure because we just started on that specialization that would offset that I feel like um, the, the Altarian Alliance um, resistance excuse me would be more suited to a pragmatic um, ideology and I'm going to push for that. They don't seem inherently evil. Tourism. Oh, there's some good stuff on this planet. Precursor nanites. Oh my god. Manufacturing bonus. So we've already made half of that back up. That's excellent. Um, I think we'll leave that area alone for now. I like that. That's good. Do I not get to pick my ideology? I do now, apparently. That was strange. It produces a pragmatic ideology points. Um, so it means multiple, but three constructor. Ooh, another trade license. Now see, negotiator is something we want to hold on to for a while. Um, oof. I, I want to prepare in the center, but the idea that um, we could have free constructors, yeah, leading to less shipyard decay, new star bases get an additional module to start with, yes. Oh yeah, yeah, I think um, it, we want to go down builder for sure. Let's go ahead and unlock this. All right, now what do we want to do here? I feel like it would be good to have uh, a star base right here. First star base. Your people have had permanent structures in space before, but nothing like this. More than a facility, more than a place to build ships. This star base is an extension of your very civilization. Everything you do, everything you're proud of, Everything you and your people are will exist here. Amazing. Ooh, I would love a culture ring. Yeah, let's go ahead and start with a culture ring. Um, we, we may look at an influence victory as we have in the past. I also need a star-based defense system here. All right. Let's buy the deep root and end our turn. Things are, are looking pretty good for us. What do we have here? A class 13. Um, that was the wrong ship to buy. I need a light spreader immediately. Uh, I'll just leave that other one in the queue for now. Oh my goodness. Are there any modules left for that starbase? No. Um, let's put another one here. Just because we can. Oh yeah, five tiles. So it would have to be here. Which of course it, it can't do that this turn. That's fine. I'll probably build another culture star base there, um, just to really throw Wisp into this like mega civilization all in a, of itself. I, I love culture. Um, I often think that if someone has to win by killing other people, uh, where's the, the art of it? Murdering <laughs> is violent and crude. And it just generally frustrates me, like, the idea of war. <sighs> ah, 
it seems like things only change with war, and that frustrates me at how our culture has evolved weapons and socially ideologues all around war. And what about art and cinema and all these other things? I guess cinema is just an extension of the old arts, but we have a new colonizing event, Leaking Seals. A sudden increase in storm activity on this planet has dramatically increased the weathering of seals on your colony buildings. A new generation of self-healing seals will help minimize the damage, but replacing them all could be pretty expensive. What are your orders? Well, we're gonna go pragmatic again. We're gonna lose a little approval going to lose a little manufacturing, but it's pragmatic. Let's begin installing the new seals on an attrition basis as the old ones break down. That should keep everyone safe enough, even if it does make us look cheap. Um, no, it doesn't. I, I don't agree with that. Uh, I need some factories on this planet, and I would like... Consulates. There we go. Of course, uh, we really want to push our, yeah, borders out right now. Uh, we have no idea where anyone is, how close they are. What, are we in dead center? Did we claim all of the dead center? Of the... That's... I gotta see this up close and personal. Oh my gosh. We're as close to the center of the galaxy as you can get. Oh my gosh. We have to take up this place and make it holy. <laughs> uh, Xeno mysticism. That's tempting. Um, I need Xeno commerce right now. This is going to put a lot of pressure on us, politically speaking, because everybody wants the center galaxy. Uh, the center of the galaxy. This is actually pretty cool. I like it. Um, looks like there's some pretty close systems to us on this side. Eh, it's not too bad. Okay, can I unstack these guys? Eject. There. Survey. Separately, please. Yay! More vision. Oh, that was screwing me over for a while there. Why are we not researching? Um, Xeno Commerce. Uh, well, we'd like a wealthy population to increase our gross income because naturally that's what we need most right now. Uh, everything. But that starts off with a wealthy population. The music is making me nervous again. Uh, I have no idea what to expect here. I need more ships. Um, a light spreader. Huh? Wood over water. Uh, it doesn't matter. There are no <laughs> civilizations we can establish trade routes with right now. It would take us way too long to build anything. It's fine. Ah, 25% of wealthy population. That means our research completed, which is excellent. Enjoyment. What's this now? Recreation centers. Yes. Um, I want to make my people happy. Uh, we've already lost one happiness. Even as we grow. There's Tholium over here and a manufacturing relic. That's a nice area of space, I gotta say. Uh, I feel like we're not uh, encapsulating our area fast enough. I think we might have the money for another colony ship. I think I'll just do it. Um, that 
that means we should get two next turn. That'd be great, because then I can colonize um, left and right. Here is probably good. I could have sworn that it would complete both, but I guess that's a little too much. <laughs> ah, it's a little sad, but oh well. Yeah, our people are completely happy again, but that's because some of them are packed on ships. And right now, we don't care what they think because, well, obviously. <laughs> It's not time for them to be thinking. It's time for them to be preparing for a new life. It looks like we are going to own this central cluster. Um, can I buy that one of those deep roots? No, no, it's fine. I'll just wait. I can wait. Yay, enjoyment. Uh, do we want to come back for planetary improvements? Yeah. Got a nice amount of population. It's grown one per turn. That's cool. Damn. That's not what I was hoping for. There's the same thing, damn it. They are way out there exploring, I tell you what. I wonder if these are close enough for me to get uh, both of them. That'd be crazy. Bli barely inhabitable. Blech. I don't know if I like that. But I paid for a colony ship. I'm going to use it. Yep, Simchani. Animals to tame. <clears throat> this is our next colonizing event, of course. The terrain of this planet has proven very challenging for our conventional ground vehicles to deal with. And some colonists have begun capturing and taming a hardy local species of marsupial to use for hopping around between buildings and colonies. <laughs> the animals are well suited for the work and it doesn't and don't seem to be suffering, but there have been a few accidents and animal rights activists across the galaxy are demanding the practice be banned. What are your orders? If the animals aren't overly suffering, what's the harm? Allow the practice to continue, but at least begin monitoring and regulating it for increased production. Yes, please. So what do we got here? To tourism research. Um, well. Research plan. <laughs> Simple answer to that problem. Wait, we took a benevolent? Um, that's interesting. Free fully loaded colony ship. 150 free research points. Uh, let's get pioneering. Ah, oh, we're coming up on the end of the episode here, but I thought I would, um, get this going again. It's been a little while since I've played this particular, uh, hmm, oh boy, growth, I think I'll take growth there, it's, it's been a while since I've played this particular 4X, and I really enjoy this kind of 4X, um, I've always been a big space nerd, and uh, as I said in a comment earlier today, I wish I had gotten to play these when I was younger, um, but apparently... Uh, one of the subscribers of the channel, uh, which by the way, thank you for subscribing and welcome, has uh, told me that she played the demo version of the second game when she was a small child. And I think that's awesome. I really do. Um, I didn't get to play Civilization 2, which is my first 4X until I was a teenager. Um, 
and my computer could barely handle it. It was great. Actually, I think it was Civ 3, now that uh, I remember back. Hey, look, uh, Tammy. Ideal for any type of colony. Yes. Let's uh, head out this way with you. Uh, I'm just gonna pick up this first habitable planet, Timmy. Uh, our next colonizing event is ruins. The primitive species that occupy this planet was once more far, once far more technologically advanced, and accidentally ruined their civilization in some kind of nuclear war several hundred years ago. Ruined cities dot the planet, and will likely contain valuable resources we could easily recycle. The natives regard these ruins as sacred and insist we stay away from them. Well, my orders are um, leave boundaries around the most sacred sites, but we want to excavate and recycle the rest. And that gave us a production bonus. I would love to see just a straight up production planet. Uh, I'm also going to put some planetary soil upgrades down. I'm really enjoying this one so far. Having the center of the galaxy like this is new to me. I've seen it before um, in other people's play of the game, but I never thought I could be in the center of a galaxy like this. Uh, it's really cool. Environmental engineering. Now, um, tourism would be wonderful. Uh, it's going to take a while, but... I'd like to open that route up for income. Uh, we're not making much right now. In fact, a lot of what we're making is going directly into the production of buildings. And that's not gonna last forever, so... Yeah, we, we wanna work on... Ooh, is that a Larian? It is. We wanna work on, you know, how we're going to sustain our civilization after uh, that's all said and done. <laughs> How much population are we gaining? 1.6 now. Oh, we're getting there. Oh, wow. We just gained like a whole line diagonally here. Where's this idle ship? Oh, you've discovered to the boundaries there, okay. That's not our idle ship. Oh yes, um... I want you to go right here. This is a very important operation. I'd love to get both of those. I don't think I will, but this ploy at least gives me the territory. Aha! Osmonius. Oh, it's a bread basket. Oh, let's get down there. So our next colonizing event is leftover robots. This planet was once home of a fairly advanced alien species that created some extremely long-lasting subsentient AI systems. Something you've done has triggered these systems' defensive protocols, and now anyone who ventures outside of the colony is at risk of attack from primitive robotic creatures. What are your orders? My orders, let's not be bashful here. They're pests and can be treated as such. Kill all the robots and feast on their innards for 20% research and 20% manufacturing. Oh my goodness. Oh, I see there's precursor nanites there. Um, well, I would like to get like a trio of market centers going somewhere. that's approval so I'll leave that alone I'll leave those two tiles well technically three um, Wow we've only got two of these now precursor nanite sources uh, well this is last turn last turn everybody uh, okay I lied nothing happened I, I have to do something Gotta let it go on a little longer. Okay. Now, that's gonna do us for this episode. We can see most of this inner cluster here. I'm really happy with this start. If all goes well, we could win any kind of victory we wanted. Well, according to our victory list, which, um, technological 
influence or diplomatic. I would love to see a diplomatic victory here. Apparently the Yor have gone straight up science here, which kind of worries me. But we have the most <laughs> influence. Uh, we can only see our influence. Uh, everybody's also in the same place for diplomatic victory. We're well suited for this kind of game with our civilization. Um, so if you're new, thank you for watching. I hope you subscribe and like and say hi to us. And uh, if you enjoyed this episode, you can do the same. Uh, we'd love to hear what you have to say. In the next episode, we will probably take some of your ideas and move forward. Because I know I don't want to use just my ideas. But anyway, we'll see you guys next time.